uh, on this exact matter. Questions of, of somebody within a department of that size and scope. I do, think, do you feel that, I that, think it's, that it's somewhat unfair? I think unfair. you have an, a particular thing you really want to talk about and you're asking me other questions, but I don't think it's unfair to ask me about the audit. It's absolutely the case that the United right. States military should be able to pass an audit, and we've got to be on that pathway to get there. But <laughs> don't you think that that does speak to the larger point that we're trying to get at, which is good journalism uncovers corruption? And Okay, that, I mean, good journalism does uncover corruption, yeah. but... I'm not sure these two things are linked. An audit oh, is not. Oh, but they are. Okay, so you need to explain. To this psycho. The defense deputy secretary has the audacity to say that like trillions of dollars of, of rounding errors is simply not an indication of corruption. I don't know what to say about that. Like, I, I just explain that to a human, dude. Like anyone that's not anyone that is not literally inside of the asshole of some fucking DC staffer. Explain that to like a regular dude in middle America. Be like, what? It's a fucking $35 trillion, you know, unaccountable, uh, unelected uh, budget of that we took from you actually. We took that from you in the form of taxes, and actually, we have no idea where it is, so shut the fuck up. To me, do you understand what an audit does and the degree to which it is linked to the question that you're asking? I believe so. Okay, go ahead. Give me your explanation. Uh, no, I, I, I don't mind learning. So <laughs> what I would suggest is that uh, the audit that they have in, in the military doesn't really look at... Um, whether or not there's efficacy, it's just whether they got delivered the thing that they ordered. And they that, is, that is any audit. That is any audit. That is true. But generally, those audits aren't $400 billion for Raytheon and $1.7 trillion for a plane that doesn't seem to be doing. Like, there is a lot of waste, fraud, and oh! abuse within a system. Audits and waste, is, fraud, and abuse are not the same thing. So let's uh, decompose these pieces please educate me on, on sure. what Sure, so the, an audit is exactly what you just described, yes. which is, do I know what was delivered to which place? Right. The Loki, the fact that you can't even fucking account for that, by the way, when you're the United States military, is psychotic. Like, you're the Defense Department, and you can't account for that? That's crazy. Like, oops, where did we send Ability the nuclear bombs? Like, I don't know. Fuck it. Pass an audit, or in a, the fact that the DOD has not passed an audit is not suggestive of waste, fraud, and abuse. That is completely false right there. So, so what is now it's a question of, it's suggestive that we can't, we don't have an accurate inventory that we can pull up of what we have where. <laughs> That is not the same as saying we can't do that because waste, fraud, and abuse has occurred. So, in my world, yeah, that's waste. <laughs> it's such a funny fucking moment because she's literally like, no, just because the United States military is wasteful, fraudulent, and abusive doesn't mean that there's an indication that there's waste, fraud, and, and abuse. It doesn't work that way. Waste. How is that waste? If I give you a billion dollars and you can't tell me what happened to it, that to me is wasteful. That, that means you well, are not <laughs> responsible. But if you can't tell me where it went, then what am I supposed to think? And when there has been reporting, I mean, this is not, look, I'm not, I'm not saying this is on you and that you caused this, but <laughs> I think it's, it's a tough argument to I'm make sure that. I'm pretty sure cause it. <laughs> an, an $850 billion budget to an organization that can't pass an audit and tell you where that money went, like, I think most people would consider that somewhere in the realm of waste, fraud, or abuse because they would wonder why that money isn't well accounted for. And especially when they see food insecurity on military bases... And they see. You want to talk about that because that's a good. We should be talking. I mean, well, I'm trying all, to understand where, we're, where, where you're trying to go, other than the dollars, which really well, bother you. <laughs> I think it doesn't really bother me. I think it's all connected. Okay. I think tell when me, I tell look, me that story. Tell, tell me how you're thinking well, about that. Well, when I see uh, 
He's like, please, parachute card. Thank God we can talk about something else. Because... My browser told me your stream has malware. It doesn't show it in other streams, only yours. Is this like a new meta or something? Is this a new joke? There's like a couple people that have said this so far. How could I have malware? I don't really understand. Like, explain to me how I could be, uh, explain to me how I could be doing, like, how I could be giving you malware. Did some Discord weirdos report your Twitch link to Google or something? Maybe. Your stream does act funky for me a lot, a lot more than other streams. I don't know. It's out of my hands. That's the point. Because I, I'm not like, I, I, I'm not Mr. Twitch. Click my name and read the messages. Can you tell me what your browser is and I could try to figure out? He said it was a Twitch extension. He got timed out. But that's what he said. So it's a Twitch extension that you use that may have had some malware issues somehow. What Twitch extension do I use? C users of song Kayapics got him, boys. No! I There is just no way that I could like give you malware. Like I just I don't know how I would actually have malware on screen. It would literally it would quite literally have to be Twitch doing it. You know what I mean? Oh, let's just continue. A state so department stupid. get uh, a certain amount of money and a military budget be 10 times that. And I see a struggle within government to get people like more basic services. And then that uh, department that got that, I mean, we got out of 20 years of war and the Pentagon got a $50 billion raise. Like that's shocking to me. Now I may not understand exactly the ins and outs and, yeah. and the incredible uh, magic of an audit, <laughs> but I'm a human being who lives on the earth and can't figure out how $850 billion to a department means that the rank and file still have to be on food stamps. Like, to me, that's fucking corruption. I'm sorry. And if, like, if that blows your mind... Bro, he's such a lib. He's like, wow, the, the fucking imperialist war machine that is taxpayer-funded... Don't say based. I, like, that's the dumbest fucking argument against this. Like, no, man. I mean, that's fucked up, certainly, but, like, it's so, it's, this is why liberalism lacks imagination, okay? He, this is why liberalism lacks imagination. Like, he looks at the internal budget of the Pentagon and says, man, how fucked up is it that you can't even account for, like, hundreds of billions of dollars of, uh, uh, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars right? You can't account for that. You don't know where it went, but you got, you know, hungry soldiers. No, man. The bad part about it is not that like the soldiers are going hungry. Like what? Do you think that if they didn't have rounding errors or do you think that it would be fine that the U.S. military exists as this fucking behemoth if there were no hungry soldiers, but they still had these, you know, accounting errors? Like what kind of fucking take is that? No, the main issue isn't 
that the military has this like accounting error and like soldiers are still hungry. The main issue is that the military is getting an unlimited amount of funds when people are hungry both in the military and outside of the military. Okay? Like American taxpayers are paying for this shit. We don't know where the fucking money's going. Teachers can't pay for like school supplies out of pocket. They have to take second jobs. This country is fucked up. It's fucked up. And this behemoth is just sucking all of the taxpayer uh, dollars. Meanwhile, we're nickeling and diming on the limited amount of benefits or entitlements, if you want to call it that, that the government already refuses to offer usually. Like, that's fucked up. And if you think, like, that's like a crazy agenda for me to have, I really think that that's institutional thinking and that it's not looking at the day-to-day -day reality of the people that you call the greatest fighting force in the world. So, I just again, I get back to this idea of, like, I'm not looking to pick a fight with you, but I am surprised at that the reaction to these questions are, you don't know what an audit is, bucko. Like, <laughs> that's just weird to me. Okay, on uh, food insecurity, uh, major priority for us, a lot of funds are going. Yeah, there you go. She was excited for that because she has talking points to address that. That's why she was like, oh, thank God we're changing the topic to something that I can talk about because I already have the talking points for it. And that's what you fucking get if you do not have an antagonistic relationship with the military existing in the way that it currently does. And your only anger is that, like, the rank and file are starving. Yeah, they should be fed better so they can be better killers. Like, what the fuck does that mean, dude? No, everyone should be fed better, and they shouldn't have to join the fucking military. Okay? toward that the biggest issues we have found uh first of all we have significantly increased funding on on food insecurity um and we do think we are getting much better on that um we believe some of the challenges we face are not what you uh you know often think of as you know food insecurity as hunger they're really around uh, do we have food available for instance as people come on and off shifts mm -hmm. is it healthy food um, those are the types of food insecurity issues we are seeing in and around our military installations. We have increased pay two times in a row here. We've done 4.6% pay raise last year. We've asked for 5.2% pay raise this year. We've also increased basic um, allowances and increased housing uh, and pay. <laughs> J.D. Pond military bureaucrat starving the American imperialist forces. Yeah. This is some fucking fifth column shit, dude. Infiltration by, uh, from, from uh, within. Yeah. She said, these American pig dog warmonger, warmongers are bloodthirsty, and if they want to pick up a weapon and kill the fucking children of the, the laborers of the third world, that, uh, the, the uh, hyper-exploited uh, global south, then they have to really want to do it because we're going to starve them every step of the fucking way. I mean, think about it. She's also, you know, like the, the, the housing availabilities are dog shit too for the military. They're doing it. They're already doing it. Uh, uh, and <laughs> food insecurity is based unlimited first world genocide this woman other allowances <laughs> so overall we definitely think we need to increase the spending that we are putting forward toward our service members and their families we're putting our money where our mouth is another big area is child care mm -hmm. spending a lot more money on child care that includes both child care facilities and it includes um uh, 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 benefit that allows folks to go out on the economy to get child care and have that subsidized by the government. Mm -hmm. Those are all examples of ways we're trying to put money forward for our service members and their families. You understand that like this is just about like more recruitment, right? 
Like, John Stewart could have just literally been like, yeah, because of these actions, like, the military can't recruit anymore. You know what I mean? Like, that's so stupid, bro. That's not the fucking problem. The problem is that, like, the problem is, like, where's the money going? Not that, like, oh, man, I can't believe we don't know where the money's going and the soldiers are hungry. The problem is, where's the fucking money going? And everyone's hungry. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, he still owned her. Families. But I liked that because I liked watching that because I wanted to show you like the difference between my way of thinking and Jon Stewart's way of thinking, even though I do like Jon Stewart a lot, right? It's probably my most liberal trait. I like Jon Stewart. I think Jon Stewart was important in, uh, in you know, my development to a certain degree. Like, I, I acknowledge that. I'm not one of those people who's like, yeah, fuck Jon Stewart. Like, I've, I'm so much more left than he is or whatever the fuck. Like, I think he did a, a lot of great work and he had some really corny, cheesy fucking uh, things that he did as well. And, you know, 